ever do. That's what I do. Why? But we're building a house together. And some stuff you do and some stuff I do. Well, I appreciate you. day um, we have our friend Josh out here he is connecting the pipes from the other day whenever we ran piping from the pond to the other container up there the boys are out here digging and testing soil okay we recovered Corey and in the midst we also recovered this man who got his riding lawnmower stuck on the side of the road. So now I'm in the car with Cody and we are headed back to the property so we can start fence day officially. So, see y'all then. Putting Teflon on this so it doesn't leak. And then I'm putting the pump in the water. Yes. And we're making this connection so it can go from that black pipe to the blue pipe. Who? That's enough. You don't need... So the boys are out um, by the pond working on the pump and getting the water dispensed. Just a few minutes ago, we're back at our property and one of the sheriffs walked all the way down and was like, hey, we had a 911 call pinged off of a tower and we just wanted to make sure everything was okay. We knew y'all were doing your fence today. Um, and he just wanted to double check and make sure we were good. So I thought that was super, super nice. He was very, very kind. Um, but yeah. So we do have water coming out, but it looks like we might have to get a bigger pump. So no biggie. All right. So right now we're going uh, around the property line with a tractor, uh, using the tractor to push the posts on the ground. And then we're going to go back and use the tractor to pull the barbed wire tight while we uh, put it on the fence post. Yep. Yep. <laughs>
all the fence posts in at, at the front. Um, and now we're going to take a small little break, grill some burgers, eat, hang out, and then we will be back at it to pull the barbed wire. They have both spools of barbed wire on this piece of rebar and they are pulling it taut with the tractor and using this tool um, for the barbed wire. Yeah, for sure. Do you have another one? This way we're able to do two at once. They have gotten all of this done and we have about all of that left. So making good time. I don't know if we will have enough time to finish the bottom two rows tonight. We would love to try, so we are going to definitely attempt, but we will see. But we might end up just having to finish the bottom tomorrow. We do have we do have a couple more posts. Um, we ended up having just enough for this, minus like two. So we're gonna put the other two over there and then we will um, have to pick up some more and some more barbed wire as well to start doing the side that has our closest neighbor, so. Go down and get a tight. in the barbed wire to this big tree that way we got something we know is solid and sturdy and never going anywhere that way it'll hold good tension on the line and not sag over time okay so they finished the first two rows of barbed wire today um but sun's starting to set everybody has work tomorrow so um we'll be finishing that pretty much tonight and then tomorrow when we come back out we will be starting on the last two rows of barbed wire. All right, so we know everyone's been concerned about wildlife and everything with us putting up barbed wire. You know, obviously we don't want to hurt the wildlife either. So we actually took that in, into consideration building our fence. So we made sure that our first two rows were spaced out enough that the deer were to get their leg caught jumping in this, that they're not going to be able to wrap themselves up in it. And then as far as the smaller animals, we went ahead and picked up some smooth wire to run as our bottom line. That way, small animals crawling underneath aren't gonna get caught in the barbs. So as Cody explained, we're going to go ahead and finish this front fence um, and get all the rest of the wires on. And then we have four extra pulls from this set that we're gonna go ahead and start on the other side. It's not that big of a property line on that side, so we really won't need that many to start out just the front. And then um, hopefully next week we'll be able to go ahead and start on that side, so.
just using a general barbed wire tool. It's basically just kind of like a slip yoke with a little ring around it. So whenever you start pulling on the wire, there's no way for it to come out and it helps stretch the wire. He's using the tractor to pull the wire taut. And then I'm going around and adding a clip, checking spacing and twisting the wire or twisting the clip around the wire and pushing it down. So there you go. So we pretty much got the whole fence along the road line finished today, about 700 foot of fence, um, four rows of uh, wire with smooth wire on the bottom and then uh, three rows of barbed going to the top. Um, we also got, we weren't able to run line today. Um, I know it looks really bright out, but it is getting pretty late and we want to go home and make dinner and take care of the dogs and stuff. So we were able to get um, four posts on the other side of the roadway done. Like I said, it's not a very big like stretch of road on that side. It's very small. So we'll mostly be going on the side of our neighbor, but we were able to get the four posts in and then we'll probably be running that line in the next couple days. So see y'all later. Okay, y'all, it's been raining for two days, but we are back at it. We are gonna be doing our fence today because the ground's soft enough to drive poles where we can't get the tractor. We were originally going to start on Karen's side, but because the people behind us have been causing some issues, we're gonna go ahead and start on their side um, and go ahead and get that, you know, just taken care of. All right, so pretty much how the property lines are set up uh, from right here over and this line this way so that's pretty much what you're looking at that is the three acre lot that is owned by the people across the street different subdivision no issues with them so we're good there so, so we're not basically he's saying we're not going to fence that in because we want to you know wildlife is free and we don't have any issues so why do we need to so the people we do have an issue with their property line basically runs this way along with ours and then it splits with those three acre people so we're going to start our fence about right here and then run it right up the property line on our side so it's our fence and not theirs it goes pretty far back so we'll see how much we can get done today so as we obviously know this isn't to keep really people out i mean it is it's going to deter them from coming on our property but it's mostly to mark property lines um to to make a final recognition as to where the property line is so that's why right now we're trying to figure out where to start it we're running a line from the property line marker all the way up to make sure that we're staying on our side of the property line make sure it's nice and straight okay so it's the next day now I look rough please excuse that um basically we got kind of stopped yesterday um so we were making our fence a straight line and come to find out the fence would have ran directly into the property line when it was supposed to be going two feet alongside it so something just didn't add up right uh so we decided to go ahead and stop not drive any post in and we're gonna have the survey company come back out and double check everything so we got the paper survey back. Uh, none of the posts were moved. Uh, come to find out one of the posts, uh, the old post from the original survey in the 70s was actually off by about three feet. Um, it was basically just offset because the trees that were in the way for them to be able to mark all the lines and everything, I guess. But So it made it seem like there was a V in the property line instead of it being a continuous straight line like it should have been. Um, but we were able to get it all figured out and figure out where the actual line is. So now we can get our fence put up. So we're super, super thankful to find out that, you know, nothing was moved and we're really grateful for that. And then we even found out that our neighbors are potentially getting a survey of their own. And if that is the case, we are so, so grateful for that as well. So yay. And fence hopefully is going up soon. So thanks y'all. Have a great week.